Good day everyone. I'm in my cut flower garden and if you'll notice this beautiful pumpkin that I have sitting on the post of the little fence that surrounds my cut flower garden. It's just a tiny little garden next to my little veg patch. Just enough for me to manage where I grow annuals for cut flowers and things like look how beautiful look how beautiful my straw flowers are this year. I planted quite a few of the peach color variety because I want to do a peach garden. I love this bit here where I have one of my annual hibiscus that I grow for the foliage and the morning glory I planted from seed is twining its way around and look how tall the peachy orange straw flower is with the twining annual morning glory. That's what I love about an annual garden is you can just let it really go wild. And there's some hollyhocks getting ready to bloom, which I planted from seed this year. So I'm pretty impressed with that. But the point of this short today's daily video for my drawing is that this beautiful pumpkin, which I'm not sure if the color is showing up on the camera, but it's called Porcelain Doll. And it's a beautiful pinky apricot peach shade. Hoping it's showing up. It seriously looks very much like a soft pink with just an apricot glaze over the top of it. It's lovely. And you can see it's getting ready to be picked because see how the, the stem is dying off. So I'm going to pick that and bring it inside and make a little vignette, which will inspire my drawing. Oh, and speaking of this, I planted these pumpkins. I plant pumpkins all around the property just because I like the vines. So um, I don't get as many pumpkins by doing it that way, but I love the vines climbing everywhere. So let me show you out front on one of my pots. See here on one of the uh, wooden fences that make up my little uh, walled veg garden. I mean, I call it a walled garden. It's really just fenced in, but I used really tall wooden fencing to keep the uh, sea breeze and wind out. And of course, it's my dream to one day have a stone or brick walled garden. But this is what I'm talking about. In one of my pots I have out front, which I've already taken out the animals, I usually plant uh, coleus um, here as long as I water them they do pretty good in the sun but I just pop a couple of pumpkin seeds here and there and you see how they vine and they vine up the outside but see how this one started out I meant to get a video earlier this little pump this which is now a rather large pumpkin was up here in the tree just about here but of course as it gets heavy it falls down and I was just lucky that it landed in the pot so I planted a seed in spring and nature gave me my own Halloween or autumnal decoration. And I love this color. I can't remember what variety this is. I was hoping it was another porcelain doll, but I think it's this other variety that gets a beautiful yellowy golden skin. But this one isn't ripe yet. You can see it still may get orange, but it's so late in the season that I may have to pick it and just use it yellow, which I'm fine. I love that shade. So, so yes, I like to just pop pumpkin seeds here and there just to let them vine around on things. Like even though this is a more formal pot and it has a brother in there, I just like to let the uh, pumpkins kind of vine around. And the aesthetic here is very wild because I have no gardener and no help other than my hubby on weekends helps me a little bit. So I embrace the wild and I love formality so I have formal pots and things but then I add to nature by popping my own seeds here and there and seeing what happens. So let's carry our beautiful porcelain doll pumpkin. I think I'm going to set it up in my studio with a couple of my little creatures and set up a little autumnal vignette to inspire today's Inktober drawing. Come along beautiful porcelain pumpkin, let's float our way to the uh, studio. And today you'll see the other day or yesterday's vlog was quite sunny. You can see the sun is trying to break through the clouds. But I have a feeling, once we get our vignette set up, 
and get settled into the studio for inking today. The rain will start tip tap tapping on the window pane, which I don't mind. I love October and I love equally a sunny Indian summer day that's warm, the sun shining and the flowers still blooming in the cut garden, or a chilly rainy day with autumnal browns, leaves falling in the wind and the crackle of the fire. All right. Let's head on down to the studio and enjoy the harvest of the pumpkin for its beauty. Of course, I also like pumpkins to eat as well, but this one is going to be to look at. And here we are. We're actually in Hubby's study. I was on my way to my studio here in the house and uh, I couldn't help but stop in the study because uh, Hubby has a pretty lovely view from his desk in his study and his study in office is so much tidier than my studio just because, well, he collects antique typewriters and he likes to write and there are a couple of his pipes. He likes to have his pipes and write and just read in here so it's always quite tidy whilst my studios are never tidy. But here is the vignette I've created to inspire today's Inktober. You can see we have a seaside pumpkin inspired tea party. See through the little stone garden gates. I love these little stone gates I got there for they're dollhouse things. I have a little collection of dollhouse things I always keep because I used to obsessively create dollhouse vignettes. And we have Miss Bunny and her darling little acorn cap, and Mr. Owl in his dapper acorn cap, sat down to have a cup of tea in the autumnal glow of a seaside garden. And here I just used a little hessian faux pumpkin, which I probably got at the dollar store, and some faux leaves in the background just because I thought they were cute and a little glitter pumpkin. And of course I couldn't help, I picked up, I'm always picking up acorns and pine cones this time of the year, and I love the little acorns as hats. And sometimes I make little miniature arrangements in them, which I'll probably share, which will probably inspire another Inktober this month. So yes, so for this Inktober, for today's Inktober, which is day eight, the inspiration is this little vignette and the pumpkin we gleaned from the cutting garden. So let me put that up on the screen. So here we have day eight, Inktober, pumpkin spice tea. And you can see it is still seaside because the lady enjoying the tea with Mr. Owl and Miss Bunny is actually a mermaid. And I'd meant to draw a tail, a stylized tail in the background, but when I was messing about with the shapes for the steam coming off their tea, I rather liked it. So I didn't want to interfere with that. So we still have a little mermaid sitting at the edge of a shore much like here, enjoying tea with two of her chums. And in the magic of her appearance, an owl and a bunny get along quite well. As we know in real life, they are mortal enemies. <laughs> but Mr. Owl is happy to share his tea with Miss Bunny. So that is today's Inktober drawing, pumpkin spice tea. I hope you like it. I like the idea of, um, the ladies with Edwardian hats. An Edwardian hat is lovely because it's so large so I can fit gourds and pumpkins and things on. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's drawing and the inspiration which was from the garden and setting up this little vignette. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and until tomorrow's vlog, which I'm going to try to keep doing daily vlogs, we'll see. I, I'm definitely going to keep up with daily inking for this month, but we'll see if I can keep the daily vlogs going. Sorry, I was just getting distracted because I was watching, I love watching the gulls dive. This particular spot of the house where Hubby's study is, the view is, um, I don't see this view as often because I'm usually not in here, so I just got distracted. <laughs> and I see there's a sailboat out on the sea just going out now, the little white triangle. My mind's already picturing making little white triangles with paintbrushes, but I digress. So. Thank you for joining me for today's vlog and today's Inktober drawing day eight, pumpkin spice tea. I hope you enjoyed making this little vignette 
well, you didn't make it, but you saw it. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed joining me here today, and I hope you can join me tomorrow. And as always, stay creative. Cheers.